Hello and welcome back to the Nords. It may have only been a day or two since you last saw this, but for me it's been about a week. So, what I want to do is I want to get in here and I want to just basically take stock of where we are and work out how we want to advance forward, because we've basically achieved a bunch of our goals. We have Dawnstar on the way, we have Halffinger on the way. We have many good things that are just going to happen to us. So, what do we want to do now? Well, there have been some suggestions. One which was interesting was, um, potentially we want to make a play for uh, our culture. Because, if we could take our culture and actually have this be our culture, we can start making changes. We can add in new traditions, although actually, Runestone Razors is already being added. That must be added by the current King of Bruma. So what's this one? Rulers may raise runestones to commemorate certain major life events earning prestige. That's kind of nice. Um, but yeah, we could add in a whole bunch of stuff here if we wanted to. We can also then choose what innovation we're going to. I mean, like, what are we even researching right now? I think we're researching plantations, which unlocks first era economic buildings. I mean, that's okay. But we, we could choose something that's more relevant to us at this exact moment in time. It would just generally be quite good. So, what is the plan? Well, we basically have two ways to do this. First way is that we attack Bruma. If we attack Bruma, we can actually get a lot of the land. In fact, wait a second, let me go back to that. There might be multiple places. Ooh, yeah, we could also attack uh, San Curator as well. And if we could get some land off of them, that would allow us to have some uh, extra counties. We need 13 counties overall, so if we could get some, that'd be good. Especially if we get them from Bruma, because each one we get from Bruma is effectively two, because not only is it plus one for us, it's minus one for them. So, that's an option. The other option is, we have quite a lot of provinces. We could convert our own provinces, and then, well, that kind of fixes the issue as well. We, we would then convert everything to our culture. Are we converting anything right now? No, we're just collecting taxes, which really we should be on developing, um, increasing development if we're on nothing. Uh, so we need to think about that. Ooh, what's this one? Convinced is your territory. Uh, the target county requests its ruler hand it over to its de jure liege. Ooh, okay. Do we have any de jure territory that we're just sitting around with that we could potentially convince? Um, I'm trying to think how we would do this. I guess I could look at that. So we have all the de jure territory in Falkreath. Hold, so none there. So what land is relevant? What, what could I do this in? Ah, oh, this land up here in Dragontooth? Yeah, so I could conv potentially convince Dragontooth to just join us uh, friend, like through friendly means. That's interesting. How long would it take? Let's just see. Uh, seven years. So, we could get this for free in seven years. That's tempting. It, it, it's not great, but it's tempting. Uh, if I want to promote culture, let me just have a look and see uh, how long it's going to take. Uh, and what cultures would we want to convert? We've already moved Mountain Orc a little bit more to acceptance, but it doesn't seem to be going up anymore. Uh, it might be time to get rid of Mountain Orc, actually. So, let's say I wanted to convert Mountain Orc, right? So, if I wanted to promote our culture here... Four years. How about these cultures? Fifteen years. Okay, and that's because uh, we are not native. Okay, so this is native to the region. I forgot that was a mechanic, actually. Yeah, so um, we can only actually uh, convert, realistically, this land in here. Uh, so let's see. So that's four years, five years, four years, seven years. Yeah, so most we're getting um, an extra five provinces out of that. And I can do basic maths. Uh, 5 added to, uh, to 10 does not equal 23. So, we're going to need to take some land off of Bruma if we want to do this. Or we're going to have to take some land off of San uh, Crator. So, um, Bruma. You have 2,000 troops, roughly. Uh, you are currently attacking Coral in a Bruma claim on the barony of Rotanda. So, that's down here. Is this... Uh, so, first of all, what is this? It's this land, and this land is... Okay, so that's Colovian. So, they're not expanding into a territory which is going to increase their number of titles. Then they're defending against uh, Viscountess Hilda, the compassion of her own in the Liberty War. Okay, so that's an internal war. So this is probably a good time to attack. They're allied to this person, but that's their vassal right there. 
And even if they join, they have a thousand troops. So effectively, it's two thousand versus, you know, um, our six thousand eight hundred, which seems pretty good for us. In fact, we're going to reinforce up to ten thousand. Hmm. Yeah, I think that potentially we could do a war of Bruma. Now, do we actually have a reason to declare a war? That's the next question. We do. Conquer county. So we can take a singular county off of them. Okay, now that's where it starts falling down a little bit. Because a singular county is not a huge amount for us here. But if that's the CB we've got, um, we could either fabricate, but we're currently converting. Although not very quickly. Or, um, yeah, I guess we could fabricate. And that's about it, actually. Or we can, maybe we can find a person who has a claim on some land. And get them into our court. That seems like a better thing to do. Like Cloud Ruler here. Have you got any claimants who would join us? You have some people with unpressed claims. It is equal um, inheritance. So we should be able to press anyone's. Or like go for anyone's claim. Would you accept an invitation to court? No. It's an, oh you're a child? Oh okay. So may, you, but you're not betrothed. Maybe we can drag you in with an alliance? Let's see what we could do here. So, um, you're also the uh, child of the High King of Eastern Skyrim, interestingly. Yeah, okay. So, uh, let me just work out where we need to go here. Let's go back to us. Do we have anybody to marry off? It's the next question. It actually doesn't matter. I just realized it doesn't matter if we're going to get an alliance out of it. We don't care. We would just like her in our court. So, if we arrange a marriage... We just find a courtier who they're willing to marry, who's in our court. That'll do the same job. Like, Donal will not accept. Okay. Um, is there, like, a filter for will accept? No. You know, that would be a useful fil filter, actually. Like, we'll actually say yes to this. Uh, wait, let's go back to this uh, arranged marriage. Right. Do we have anybody? Our grandson. Uh, Hij Hijurun. So you are um, Princess Margaret's uh, son. Okay, and Margaret is married. Sorry. Margaret is the uh, sister of. Yes, sister of Ata. That's fine. So that works out. So this is the other line of our family. If you would marry him, that actually works out perfectly for us. Now, whose court? You're at our court. That's perfect. Uh, inheritable chance we get attuned, comely, and robust through. They would accept. That's good. Um, yeah, it doesn't form an alliance. I think we're happy with this, actually. Yeah, Hijorun um, gets married in. Chance that he ends up potentially getting, or his children end up getting Eastern Skyrim at some point. That sounds interesting. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that one. We'll send the proposal. So basically, in three years, we will have a claim on uh, the Duchy of Cloud Ruler. Okay, that's 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 a thing that we can work on. Um, I don't really feel like I want to do like just single conquest wars down there, so we'll do that. And then in the meantime, because it's going to take us a while to actually get this land, let's promote uh, some culture in here. And uh, let's see. So what what is the lowest? What is the lower culture? If I check here. So West Holder, we have 38% acceptance. So I'm going to do a Mountain Orc first because uh, they don't like us as much. We're going to settle our own people there. Cool. Right. So, a couple of plans going in there. Halffinger, your, um, your heir is still my grandson. Perfect. We check over here. Dawnstar, your heir is still my nephew. So that's fine. So that also works. I think we might be ready to unpause. We can hold court, which is probably something we should do. I like that we've got something else going. Do I want to repair this banner? Uh, so this is the Yal House banner. So currently all it gives us is two court grandeur. I don't think we need to. We could give this away, I suppose. How about to um, you? Yeah. I'm going to grant you. I'm going to gift you this artifact. Can I gift it from here? No, okay. So I have to actually find it. Will not accept. I don't want it. There's no connection. Okay, well, you're a claimant. That was where I thought your connection might be. How about Fastred? My sister and rival. Do you want this banner? 
No. House Y'all? Is there anybody left in it? You're you're in House Y'all. You want this banner? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought you might. This sounds fine. Yeah, I don't care. We, we don't need the house banner. Yeah, let's just give it away. Cool. Right. That means that it will no longer pop up, which is my main concern. Now, we do also have low control in a couple of counties. Uh, is that something we can fix? Uh, yes, we could possibly fix it. Are we currently working on fixing it? No. Okay. So let's raise control here. Cool. We'll just start somewhere and then we'll see where we end up. Right. I think we're happy. I think we're ready to... Um, oh, no. Hold court. Then we're ready to unpause. Um, right. Luspardane out of control. They're hanging us, hounding us. We, we we could keep order, my lord. Please, we can organize ourselves without all the death. So, control level in the chiefdom of Luspardane goes up. What we need is excessive bloodshed. Or, uh, see what you can do with this. I'll give you 30 gold. A land of barbarians. My lord, I regret to inform you that I'm at the end of my tether. My vassal, Alderman Rodestir, is clearly exasperated. The people over which I rule are an uncontrollable mob of unruly barbarians with ridiculous customs and a terrible taste for food. All my efforts so far have been in vain. It just seems impossible to make civilized people out of them. Uh, so, we can get promote culture in Kolskeger. I don't think we need to. Send our royal architect to develop the county's infrastructure. I guess there's a bunch of court grandeur. It costs us a bit, a bit of money, but we would get it back quickly. We can gain court grandeur for some negative opinion. Okay. As long as they pay their taxes, I don't care. This will also make my brother like me. We, we could give up 130 gold for this, yeah. That sounds fine. Uh, yeah, that sounds fine. We'll do that. Court grandeur is now level 9. An unusual case has reached my court. Two women claim that a baby girl is theirs. None of the villagers can stand as witnesses, uh, saying that as if the child appeared out of thin air, no one knows that the women were expecting or adopting nothing. The mystery has captivated the people, and while we may never know how this all happened, I must resolve the conundrum. What decision should I make for the future of this child? We can go youngest, we can go oldest, or we can raise the child as our own. Uh, no, I don't think we're going to raise her. So, are we going to give her to the younger woman? Uh, so, Olava? Or are we going to give it to the older woman? Uh, I think I'm willing to make this guy dislike us because I think our chance of liking us is better. Let's do that. Cool, we are done. Right, we need to earn a little bit more money, but that's okay. And I'll do... Just while we're, you know, in the slow period, let me just do a quick scan for zeros here. Uh, yes, the only people who are giving us zero are people who have no individual obligations. Cool. Let's unpause the game. Uh, yes, you've accepted the betrothal. Wonderful. Can we grab an alliance off that betrothal? No. We purchase a truce, but not grab an alliance. That's okay. Was I trying to, um murder this person? I have a distinct feeling that I kept casting injury on him. Let me do that again. Yeah, I was doing inflict wounds, right? To try and lower his health. Definitely. I cast inflict wounds. Ugh. There you go. So he is now uh, less well. He's already Oh, he's already afflicted by the spell. Ah. Apparently uh, I had already done that. Well, never mind. Right. Well, now we'll just chill for a second. Child of my dynasty. My granddaughter Agnes has given birth to a daughter. Who she is also named Agnes. Very inventive. Well done. Hey, we discovered plantations. Now, that was the first one in here, right? Uh, that they were working on. Yes. Okay. So we can now actually get economic buildings. We should definitely spend a little bit of our cash on that while we've got the opportunity. What are we uh, doing now? I don't think we've gotten a fascination yet. I'll just wait a second. Charmed vassal. Uh, my cat has made this person like me more. Cool. Uh, okay. So somebody has won a claim in San in San Crator. We could attack them potentially. It wouldn't be terrible. 
Well, we'll just chill on that for just now. A touch of romance. You'll get 20 opinion. That's fine. Right. Um, I want to spend some of my money um, upgrading our holdings, so I don't necessarily want to go to war right away. Royal prerogative is the next thing we're getting. So we can go up to strong uh, autocracy and absolute autocracy. So that is up here. We can get these two things if we wanted to uh, once that's done. Okay, cool. How much does it cost for a building upgrade in Grey Pine Hall? We upgrade any of these? 51 gold. Yeah, okay. So we can start upgrading them from like 1 to 6. So 130 basically we'll call it. Uh, ooh, what have we got here? The Munificence of Erich. In the last few days, neighboring King Erich of Halfinger has been visiting my court on the way to some holy site or something. Since his arrival, he's been outshining with his generosity towards my own courtiers who have all been lapping up his gold with no dignity. I cannot help but scoff when I seem surrounded by my adoring courtiers for the umpteenth time. My courtiers. A purse for you, good Moralic. And some coins for you also, Edward Waster. And for you, sweet Margaret. Sweet honey cakes. Remember, riches are meant to be shared. I can be more generous. I should take advantage. 77% Chance, chance he just gives me 90 gold. He's overstayed his welcome, or better him spending than me. I would like 90 gold, please. He gave me 90 gold. Well, that seems pretty good. So now we can start upgrading these holdings. Which one should we do first? Probably whichever one gives us the most money. That gives us 0 0.2, that gives us 0 0.2, and that gives us 0 0.2. Wonderful. So my uh, first thing, they're all equal in. Um, that gives us 25 extra troops, and this gives us 25 extra troops and some supply limit. Uh, I'm going to take this one. We're going to upgrade to hand pens. Cool. Right. And then we'll just let it build. Um, you'd like me to, to invite me to a feast? Um, no, I'm okay, thanks. I think we're good for just now. Right. Let's carry on. Marshall perk available. We're gonna take um, probably organized control and county progress gain, right? Given that's what we're doing. Take that. Also, how's your faith converting going? It's just at a solid zero. Okay, so you are currently in. I think you were over here, right? Yeah, an understone. So, is that just going to stay at zero? Can I see the reasons why again? Cultural identity minus uh, fervors down. I guess if I could do a holy war, we could raise our fervor. So, if I was to holy war this druidic cult, that would probably help us convert. Uh, when When is our truce over? That's probably a more important question. So our truce with them. Nine years. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, there you go. That's a, that's a reasonable amount of time. We'll just chill here for a second. What's this? Call hunt? I uh, don't think we need to do that. Recording a memory. Some moments must be recorded forever. The time uh, that Princess Fastred of Falkreath and I became rivals is one of them. It might be a painful memory, but someone has to pass it on to the next generation. My mastery of the Cyrillic language would make penning this a trivial matter. Assembling and illustrating a tome can quickly become a costly endeavor, however. I can do it myself, and we just pay some money, or I won't do it. Sure, I'll do it. That's fine. Oh, and that gives us, uh, I think that gave us an artifact, didn't it? Oh, no, the artifact is in here, maybe? Yes, okay. Get out of the way for a second there. So this memory gets us tyranny loss uh, increase. Nice. Court grandeur, some learn language scheme power. Yeah, it's not terrible. I'm happy. Right, bandit uprising. Pray for the stolen socks. Crash, where am I? What's going on? I peer, peer into the darkness, my eyes adjusting. Kine, there is someone by my bedroom window. I scramble out of bed and run to intercept, but the intruder is faster. They are gone in a blink before my own eyes. The morning after, a guard tells me that it was one of the bandits that plagued the area. Luckily, all they stole were the socks from my drawer. Double the guards. Has anyone seen anything? Please need your help or I will investigate this. Personally. Let's go. I found the bandit and I got my socks back. That's what matters. And pens are done. Nice. Uh, let's upgrade this one. Uh, because we can't afford the other one. So, 
just get it going. Hey, you finished the task. What was it? Increase control. Wonderful. Right, so we, now we can work on the next one that's got low control. It's either this one or this one. Let's go for the one over here because it's a little bit lower. Let's increase control there. Wonderful. You can see that our troop count is continuing to rise. You can see that amount of money we're making each month is continuing to rise. It's, uh, rise. it's good. Also, two gold from our cat. Wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, is this moving yet? Absolutely not. That's fine. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. I know of your relationship with Lend Woman Met. And if you wish for my silence, you, you will do as I say. No. Right, uh, I believe that's, yeah, my secret has been exposed. Well, that's not good. Uh, I've gained the trait Adulterer. Well, you know, they there you have it. Alduin is not as young as she once was, and she crawls into my lap. I can feel her trembling. I gently stroke her black fur and listen to her purr long into the night. But silence falls, I know that she won't wake again. I say, I miss you. I'll make sure that you're forever by my side. No, I'm not going to tan my cat. Right. Right, we lost level of devotion. Gained arrival, lend woman uh, Rundi, I see. We've inherited the la the lend of Karth Spire. Okay, and we got a small religious carving. Okay, we got quite a lot there. Let's do this first, small religious carving. One pi 0 0.1 piety per month. Well, okay, it's better than literally nothing. Um, My lover has had her opinion increased of me by my chancellor. That's impressive. Steer Bjorn died of old age, so we need a new steward. A new steward shall be this dude, because I want somebody good to do the job. Right. Um, next up. Disabled building in Karth Spire. Oh, I didn't even Yes, yes. We don't need Karth Spire necessarily, do we? It's a tribal one. Oh, it's a castle one. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, do we want it? Or my other options? Uh I don't think think we want it. it might be better than Kolskegger though um it is a level one castle it is a level one castle yeah but this is the duchy holding uh, let me just check what duchy is in so it's in Frodan, which we don't have yet while Kolskegger is in markarth uh i think i'd prefer to have the one in markarth actually yeah i'm gonna just give this one away Right, uh, we're going to grant it to a random new vassal. Uh, there we go. Yep. We have now invented this guy out of the middle of nowhere. It's a plunderer. Cool. Right, betrothed can marry. Aha! Send, for, send that through. So that has now secured her at our court, I believe. Uh, if I go down to my grandson. So she is now in our court. So now, Bruma, who are having a very bad time of things, should be attackable for her claim. You see? It's looking good. Um, wait, she's heir to the Kingdom of Eastmarch? Wait, what? Uh, the Kingdom... I'm more surprised the Kingdom of each, Eastmarch exists. Oh yeah, it does. Huh. I guess this is fine. We can take the land from Bruma. She could inherit East March. That's kind of fine. Ideally, we would want... Hmm. I mean, getting it temporarily is fine as well, because at least it takes the land away from Bruma. I'm just working out how this is going to play out long term. So she gets East March. We want to ideally be an Empire-level title by the time... She, um, yeah, by the time she inherits. That's going to be difficult. I think we still press her claim, but it's still, like, you know, it's not ideal. Yeah, let's do it. Let's declare a war. At the very least, what this does, well, one, it would actually give East March land down here. But what it does is it gives our um, grandson potentially more, or granddaughter potentially more land. Yeah, sure, I'm okay with this. Let's declare a war. Right. Then we're going to raise our troops roughly here-ish. We're going to go for it. Raise all of our armies. And then we just march. 
Right. Purchase truce. You would like to give me 135 gold for a truce. Who are you? All right. Hey, who are you? Oh, I had no intention of attacking you whatsoever. Sure, I'll take my 135 gold. Appreciate it. For all the authority I supposedly wield as king, it cannot be everywhere in my realm at once. There will always be those who forget to obey my orders once my attention is turned elsewhere. This is where my courtier, uh, Goodling, could come in, who has been faithfully enforcing my decrees at court. Could he serve as my right-hand man and take a more active role in administrating my realm? So I can get a right hand, it gives us control growth. My marshal can handle these problems, or I'll handle everything myself. Sure, let's get a right-hand man. Why not? Right, so we're sieging this down here. Uh, let us... Um, did, I hit, did I hit the right hotkey hot there? I did hit the right hotkey. However, it didn't work. Now let's do that. Send these guys back here. Uh, and we're just going to chill kind of here for a little bit. Yeah, okay, that's not good. This is why I tend to leave extra troops. is because the AI will be like, yeah, that's enough troops to get this land. And then, you know, uh, the moment there's a an attrition tick, they're like, I, we don't have enough troops. It's like, well, why didn't you just leave a little bit of a buffer? Anyway, you've accused my uh, vassal of having an affair. I suppose I can't really judge. Right. Merge. Uh, also, split in half so that you don't take as much supply hits and start reinforcing. Cool. White piece. Why would I give you a white piece? I decline. Um, yeah, I'm winning. Okay. Oh, this land needed sieged as well. That's fine. Information brokering. Chieftain Olfer has approached me, claiming he's discovered who was behind the murder of my acquaintance, Linley. He has offered to provide me with everything he knows, including names and evidence, in exchange for a favour to be rendered at a later date. No. Right, four months on this siege. Engbioth's missing hides. Engbioth approached me with a grave face, and, before I can ask him anything, tells me that he woke up this morning to find out that he had been robbed, and this, as his servants recounted by some mountain orc who stole precious direwolf hides from him. Ingbioff asks for my help and waits for my response. I'll get your hides back, or why can't you solve your own problems? I'll get your hides back. The entourage returned with some surprising news. The mountain orc responsible were actually under the direct orders of the respected Ushaga, who was very offended by Ingbioff. Speaking to the warriors that the entourage brought to me to confirm the story that Ingbioff was stealing hides from the camp's herds proved to be true. They were taking back what was rightfully theirs. So you gain foreign respect, or... Um, the heights belong to him. I won't fall for mountain orc tricks. Different culture opinion hit. No, I don't want that. So I'll, I'll get foreign respect. So that's good. Right. And King Erich of Halffinger accused my daughter and heir Queen Aita of having an affair for lover clan head Lygelf. They don't see what the fuss is about. It's not as if lust is an unnatural affliction. Wait. Wait a second. My daughter has... Uh, my daughter, married to King Erich, has been sleeping with clan, Le uh, clan head Legelf of Dawnstar, who is married to my sister, and who is part of my other plot. This is all too convoluted. So, wait a second. Yeah, so she's been accused of sleeping with her uncle? Effectively? Does that be her aunt? Okay. Weird. Weird. Okay, uh, did we win this siege yet? No. Okay. Let's chill. Goodwill. To my surprise, my acquaintance Lendwoman Krika has come to me promising whatever I need and uh, whatever she can do, uh, she will provide if I ask. Okay, well, that's good. Thank you for that, I guess. Uh, how are we feeling, by the way? Poor. Oh, well, good, 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 good. Um, I think we want to go to Cloud Ruler next. Yeah, I think we want to go to Cloud Ruler next. I realized something else we could do, actually, as well. And instead of just accepting our fate here, I need to split this army in half to do what I want to do. Uh, trying to do two, th like, explain something and also move troops at the same time. Never a good idea. Uh, but what we could do is we could potentially revoke the duchy from the person who we've pressed the claim for. If we just revoke it, take the tyranny hit, we're going to die soon anyway. Um... That would then allow us to just hold the duchy yourself. 
And Cloud Ruler looks like a fairly good uh, holding in terms of uh, holdings. Yeah, could be all right. Or we could give it away. There's a whole bunch of things we could do. I, I would never expect it to have grown as close. That's a lot of things that just happened. I would never expect it to grow as close to Lendwoman uh, Greka as I have done the past few years. Yeah, let's become friends. That's fine. So what happened? So my alliance expired with you. Because she died. Okay, my sister died is what's happened. I was worried something had gone wrong with our plan. But I think our plan is still in motion. Okay. Yes, yeah, so sister died. What tasks are finished? Uh, promote culture task in Evergreen is finished. So that is now Cyril Nordic. Wonderful. So let's convert uh, the next one that we can do. Let's convert Banner Mist. Right. I honestly don't know if I clicked the right button there. So I'm just going to move him. Uh, and then I'm going to move him back. There we go. Right. So we'll do that one. What task finished? Increase control. We can set you onto the right one as well. So what things still need? Oh, everything's got high enough control that was no longer telling us about it. That seems good. Is everything full control? You're 84, but you're taking up at one per month. Okay, cool. She can reduce our uh, military costs. We're still earning money while at war. That seems good. Right. I think we're. I think we're good. I think we're good. Right. Back over here. You're gonna go to Cloud Ruler. You don't have enough men to siege it. Uh, 21 months left. That's fine. We could start sieging this one as well at the same time. Let's send, um, yeah, let's send a couple of tr uh, armies over there. Yeah, let's just send these two over there and I'm going to move you up to there. Let's, let's try that. A martial perk. We're going to go for, do we have any factions? Kinda, yeah. Let's go with this. Hard rule. Makes factions harder to go through. Means we're better against them. It gives us dread gain as well, which is kind of nice if we need it. Yeah. New opponent. Nothing in this world is certain, especially in times of war. The Falkreath War for Jolding Frostbeard's claim on the Vi County of Cloud Ruler has been no different. Uh, this, this conflict is no longer against Viscount Stenvar Bruma instead of Queen Horsky of Bruma. Instead, it might be wise to reevaluate the situation. She's even weaker. Uh, my goal stays the same. Cool. This is actually sieging even quicker without a siege unit. I think it's kind of funny. Uh, you want to give me 50 gold? Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Right. That's gone up. And we will continue sieging. Cool. We got that. We also captured a prisoner. I'm actually just going to send you directly over to the next one. Uh, that's fine. What are we going to do with the prisoner? You... Uh, we can just recruit you. You actually seem very good. I'm going to recruit you. Right, and because we're attacking Cyril Nordic land, we're getting Cyril Nordic uh, recruits. Yeah, I can recruit you as well. It gives us another um, potential person who we can marry off in the future. We need to do ma a marrying off session of courtiers, but we'll get to that in a bit. A courtier between friends. My Chancellor High Chiefess uh, Snook has honoured me with a visit and brought one of her courtiers along. She approaches me excitedly. Well met, King Hod. It pleases me to see you thriving here in Falkreath. It occurred to me that Rosag here might be um, of service in your court. Um, we want this person? Yeah, Mini seems pretty good. Yeah, I'll take him. That's fine. Right. So they're going to siege that one over there. A demonstration of leadership. My cousin Lendwoman Alga has been hovering around my council meetings lately. Knowing her interest in matters of leadership, I cannot help but feel the woman is waiting for me to impress her. Um, we can get levy reinforcement rate, or we can get her opinion. Let's get her opinion up. Sure. We have now taken Cloud Ruler, which is fantastic. That now gives us taking war score. We don't see any yet, but it gives us it. You are going to split up. And you're going to split in two here. And just start reinforcing. You're going to head down there. Just going to chill. We're going to die in a year's time. That's horrible. Can we change? Uh, we could grab ourselves a small health boost and try and hold on just a few, little bit longer. 
I would prefer to hold on a little bit longer. I want the war to end before we um, like before we die. I think that would be ideal. Can they get you to attack down here? Send you with them. That's fine. Right, we, we also captured some prisoners in that latest siege. Uh, yes, we will recruit you. We will also recruit you. Wonderful. Right. That's fine. These guys are heading down. Child of my dynasty. Hamvir. Um, merge. Attack. Yeah, you're going to chase him down. You're going to catch him. Wonderful news. Right. You seem to have reinforced. You're going to head to Bruma, which is, of course, the capsule. And you're just going to chill there. Right. An extra hand. In the course of helping me administrate, in, administer my realm as my right-hand man, a goodling and I have discovered that we have a lot in common. Uh, let's be friends. Sure, I mean, we're going to die first, so it doesn't really matter. We're not worried about gaining stress from our friends dying, so might as well just make as many people as we can like us. That's a lot of troops. It's a lot of troops. Did you call in Eastern Skyrim on your side? That's not Eastern Skyrim. That's Sankator. You being attacked by Sankator as well? You are. Okay. Well, I would love to leave this fight. Uh, I have no quarrel with you. What did you call an Eastern Skyrim? I completely missed that. Yeah, okay. Well, that's fine. Try and leave. Yeah, okay. They, they understand that we're not hostile to each other. Let's just merge our armies up a little bit more over here. Try and attack in. Catch them. Court mage position vacated. We can hire a court mage. I hire my wife. And then... Uh, oh, wait. I forgot to check what spell she has. Does she have the spell that lets us uh, injure this guy? Wife. You have the spell? Yes, you could inflict wounds if you had the magicka. Okay, but you don't. So that's fine. Invalidated? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why was it invalidated? Did you die? You became a Jarl in each East March, so you weren't part of, you're not part of my court. He died. Not he died, but like his father died. The land split in two. She became or her wait. Go back to her uh go back to her. Her father died. The land split in two. Yeah. So she got East March and then uh, and then they got Eastern Skyrim. Yeah. Oh. Well. Guess we're going to disband our army then. Uh, That's not good. High King Brandir. Yeah, you're the one who got Eastern Skyrim. Okay then. Well, we achieved pretty much nothing with that Bruma War except wasting our time. Uh, We've got a lot of money now that we can spend. Our maximum troop count is high and we're reinforcing up to it we have a couple of things that are about to hit where they need to we actually don't want to live any longer now which is kind of funny we would love to just drop ourselves uh, down to the point that we die and let our daughter take over for a few years although what we would actually love is for our daughter to die and then for our, our grandson to take over but i don't think it would work quite as well as we want it to but anyway uh we can do that um yeah, I, th I think that we're in a good spot. When this, when we can apply, uh, go to the right person. We we can apply an injury to this person. We will th then be in a great spot as well because then we can start, um, yeah, trying to get him to die. He's starting to get into the like I'm older period, so there's a chance we can just about kill him if he doesn't keep walking his dog. You know. We're, we're, in, we're in a good spot. Lots of things are about to happen, and I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.